Uh, Rack YouTube. It came in and finally. Came in a day late. Game stops. Shipping is a little bit better. You don't have to get, you know, release day extra and pay extra for it, you know. Um, I did have to pay more for it, even so. There was some reason the website does some weird stuff, you know. It's free shipping, but sometimes it'll still charge you for it. And GameStop will not talk to you whatsoever in their emails or the number to call or whatever, you know. So, um, it's whatever. You know, I mean, it ain't that much, you know. The difference like maybe $11, $15 extra, but this is the most expensive collector's edition I've ever bought. Okay, it was in Mortal Kombat. Um, I had part 9, I missed out on, uh, part 10's European statue, that thing went quick, okay, I was disappointed, I waited to see if I could get it, they went way too much for it, $600, and, uh, you know, eBay, you little scalpers, F you, but, <laughs> I was going to take the chance this time, you know, but, part 10, they did have a second, uh, collector's edition, it was like a or sedition, whatever you want to call it, and it was like a little cheap, cheaper looking plastic scorpion statue, and I was like, no, I don't like it, you know, I don't like the design they did for it, and I was like, I want to have that nice European bus statue, that thing was nice, but I was going to take this chance, I forked over the extra money, it was a lot, it hit me hard, bro. <laughs> but I got it, but I came in. As I mentioned, the box is huge. Oh my god. Nice glossy. I love the design right there at the cover. Scorpion, always been my character since part one. Everybody else picks up zero. I've always been Scorpion. But looky here, ever since part nine, everybody wanna be a Scorpion fan. But uh the Arts Quest, uh, some people who are complaining, you know, even so part nine had on uh, Scorpion and Sub Zero as a book a uh, bookshelf on uh, thing. Part 10 had a scorpion statue, both of them were scorpion statues, okay, but, um, once again, another scorpion, no sub-zero love whatsoever, <laughs> and can you believe it, they finally got off Liu Kang, all they did throughout all the previews was Liu Kang this, Liu Kang that, and now they're loving the ninjas, the back is pretty cool, so how much did I pay for it? Over 300. Yeah. Just because games stopped shipping, you know. Um, if this choker was on Amazon and I could get it, I would went that way. But like I said, GameStop loves scooping up these exclusive collector's editions. And if they, you gotta get on these sites, sometimes you'll get the free shipping, sometimes you don't, but they jack the freaking prices up. Recently, the Walking Dead Collector's Edition, you know, Tell Tell, they, they got a definite edition, and it got a nice statue in it. But they put so much filler up stuff with a hat, a t-shirt, poster, signed if you want to, for extra hundred, and on. Um, and they were like 250 plus for it. That thing is no more than 149.99. okay? Like I said, they're checking the prices up, and on top of it, they're adding filler to have more price. I will not be getting it. I will get the definite edition whenever they drop the game itself. But I'm not going for no collector's edition from them. The, the people, you can get from the, with their main website, but F them. Okay. These people are checking the collector's edition prices up on all these collector's editions. They should have never went over $149.99. Now you got to pay like $200, $250. Like I said, it's more probably was the most expensive I ever paid for. Here it is, the uh, scorpion mask. I'm so scared to see if I can detach it. And, and unfortunately, this is the sad part. I thought you could wear it. You know, it's just the statue. You know, the headpiece is, is completely plastic solidified under the. I was like, for 300, you better be able to wear this. And, uh, and as you can tell, it is not a statue. It's a better quality plastic because you, this is supposed to represent leather, but it's uh, plastic to give that feel. 
this is plastic it's a better product plastic but it's plastic nonetheless this is not worth three hundred dollars some of y'all got for like two six nine 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 whatever but this is not three hundred dollars I'm sorry nether so whatever you want to call yourself nether nether realm studios it you took you, you took money from us okay this is not worth no three hundred dollars it's nice But this collector's edition should have not been more than 200. You ripped this off, okay? At least you could have had this real leather, this uh, better metal material mask, and you should have made it wearable. Then it would have been 300. But you kind of ripped this off on that. And I said, these game companies, they want more money. And since, you know, they're cracking down and, and it's getting more heat on loot boxes and what, guess what? They do have loot boxes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyway. They're really cracking down on that, and, and companies are finding little loopholes in which they're just boosting the collector's editions up. GameStop is even worse with it because they gotta make more money too. So I'm pretty sure this is what's originally supposed to be a little bit cheaper, but they want to know. So what else did it come with? Now it's not a card, it's a little bit more metalish, but you have the certificate of a Excuse me, you know, I got a German accent. It's much harder for me to say it, so I'm not going to attempt it because I know I'm going to mess up. But it tells you how many were made, and this is the certificate of it. So basically, they only made 20,000 of the, uh, these collector's editions. And I have number 2,417. So I guess the first one is always worth more because it's the very first per, uh, one made, but. I prefer these. I'd rather have a certificate, you know, saying to prove it that these were actually limited editions, you know. But it boosts the price up, man. And that little card is not worth the price they're asking for. We have the premium edition. I almost went with that on Amazon, but I gotta have that collector's edition. I love Mortal Kombat. So, you gotta get a little DLC code. And here's the steel book. I hate the design of the steel book. There's no color on it. I mean, it's nice little imprinted on there, but I can't put this on the shelf. Okay, it's black on black on top of it. I hate that you can see it folds inward. And it's not a regular steel book type where, you know, they got an actual towel in the uh, tile piece in there, you know, but it bends inward. It says Mortal Kombat here on the side, but because it's so whatever. I can't put it on a shelf, you know what I'm saying, because people can't really see it. So I'm going to put this back into the thing, and inside it says it has a medallion. The medallion is more of a metal than that cheap plastic. Okay, but it ain't worth no 300 Once again, another click this edition I'm happy to have. But once again, sad that it was not worth the price. And for some reason, I had this on the other sh shelf, you know what I'm saying? I would never, in my last video, I was looking for it, and I couldn't find it out, but I didn't get it yet, but I did. And basically, I got also a Mario Kart DS, went back, scooped some of the handheld games I never got a chance to get, because when you collect PS4, PS3, they take up a majority, you know, but I also got Super Mario Land 3D. And the game I wanted to show you, because I actually got it that day, I did the video, and I, for some reason I didn't show it, that was World War II. And, surprisingly, over a million copies got sold. Can you believe that? So, it, it sold pretty well. Even so, so the scores are kind of lacklustering, but I haven't played it, so I don't know if I enjoy it or not, but I've got it. I'm surprised I didn't put a video for it, but... I still have like about two more things coming in, you know, but um, I'm glad to have more combat, but it's not worth the price. <laughs> I can't stress that enough, you know. They, they really be suckering us. They be really taking from us. They don't give what the worth, you know, anymore, but I guess that's the thing now, you know. Not a lot of click editions I'm happy with like I used to, but 
I still am a huge collector, so let's get that right, okay? But anyways, let me know how you feel about it. Drop me some comments, some likes, and please subscribe. You know, let's use that. Enjoy.